Tonight, a new image appears to show Malik Faisal Akram arriving at Our Calling, a Dallas outreach center at 10.01 p.m. on January 2nd. He fit into the regular crowd just like any, any one of us would. Pastor Wayne Walker, CEO of the center, says Akram was dropped off by a man he appeared to know. Wasn't a just a high five. It was an embrace. This looked like they had a, a long time connection. Tonight, NBC News has learned Akram paid for his own flight from the U.K. to New York. He stayed in Queens for two days before asking his family for money to get to Texas, where he told them he was hoping to find a bride, according to law enforcement sources. It was in Texas the sources believe Akram purchased the gun on the streets in the Dallas area. It was a stolen weapon. In Akram's native U.K., a security source confirms he was the subject of a low-level investigation in 2020 by the British intelligence agency MI5, looking into possible ties to Islamic terrorism. The case was closed because it didn't meet the threshold for further investigation. Today, one of the hostages shared more of Saturday's terrifying ordeal. He said frequently he didn't want to hurt us, and that allowed us to concentrate on what was important like getting out. So when the rabbi threw a chair, everyone was ready to run. Exactly as they had been trained to do in courses for active shooters. After several recent deadly incidents at synagogues, Michael Masters says his group trained 17,000 people just last year. We teach them to commit to action, how to recognize danger, how to uh, respond to it and be proactive. And that's exactly what we saw uh, these hostages do. And tonight, British authorities say Akram's two teenage sons that were detained for questioning have now been released and they won't face charges. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.